So this set of slides is about the financial sector and this specific presentation is about interest rates and the Reserve Bank and we explain how banks create money. So let's first look at how banks create money. Banks create money by making loans. So when a bank provides a loan to a customer, it creates a deposit for that customer for the amount of the loan. And that deposit that is created increases the money supply because money is cash plus deposits. So when deposits increase, when a loan is made, money supply also increases. So how will the Reserve Bank affect the interest rate level in the economy? Banks, like any other units in the economy, can also experience liquidity deficits or a cash deficit. And they can then borrow funds from the South African Reserve Bank in a spe very specific manner. So the transaction will have two legs. In the first leg, the bank sells financial securities to the South African Reserve Bank and then the Reserve Bank provides funds to the banks to finance their liquidity deficit. And then in the second leg, seven days later, the bank buys the financial securities back from the Reserve Bank and it pays the amount borrowed in the first leg plus interest at the repo rate to the South African Reserve Bank. Now the deficit units in the economy can borrow from the banks. So the bank then provide a loan to the deficit unit and the deficit unit will pay back the loan plus interest. Now this repo rate at which the banks borrow from the reserve bank is determined by the Monetary Policy Committee of the South African Reserve Bank. So we can say the South African Reserve Bank determines the repo rate. And this repo rate will affect the interest rate at which banks provide loans to their customers. This is the repo rate, this is the interest rate at which they have to pay to finance their de deficit and therefore it affects the interest rate at which they are willing to provide loans to the deficit units in the economy. So the level of the repo rate determines the interest rate at which banks provide loans. So when the repo rate at which banks obtain finance from the South African Reserve Bank increases, the interest rates at which banks provide loans to deficit units in the economy will also increase. We've now explained that in the previous slide. Therefore, it's now more expensive to borrow, which means that less loans will be obtained from the banks. And therefore, less money will be created. So when less money is created, spending in the economy will decrease and price levels in the economy will also start to go down. So now we can see how the Reserve Bank uses an increase in the repo rate to influence the inflation rate or the price levels in the economy. On the other hand, when the repo rate at which banks obtain finance from the Reserve Bank decreases, the interest rates at which banks provide loans to deficit units will also decrease. It is now less expensive to borrow, therefore more loans will usually be obtained from the banks, more money will be created, and therefore spending in the economy can be expected to increase and price levels in the economy can also be expected to increase. So when the Reserve Bank wants to take steps to stimulate spending in the, in the economy in order to get the economy growing, they can consider a decrease in the repo rate. 
So in this presentation, we explained how banks create money. We explained how the Reserve Bank finances the deficit of the banking sector and how this affects the interest rate level in the economy. And we explained how a change in the repo rate affects the economy.